So guys, Freddie Roach um, says that he wants Manny Pacquiao's killer instinct back. He wants that Manny Pacquiao that threw millions and zillions of punches, which he doesn't feel he gets anymore. Now, <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, when he was, well, he wanted, he wanted a Manny Pacquiao that fought Ricky Hatton. Now that fight was ages ago. I don't know whether that fight was in two thousand and nine or two thousand and eight or some long time ago, right? You're not going to get that Manny Pacquiao back. So you're not going to get that Manny Pacquiao. Now, a lot of people accused Manny Pacquiao at that point in his... Um, they accused him that he was on steroids. He, he looked so good. Um, I'm not one of them. I don't accuse Manny Pacquiao at that point uh, to, be, to be on anything. Because like I said, I, I believe in... Um, you know, you're pr innocent until proven guilty. And Pacquiao wasn't ever proven guilty. Um, you know, at that point he was at, had great momentum. He was he was looking unbelievable, looking unbeatable at that point. And a lot of people, when they see a guy that's like that, they just always accuse and say it's steroids. Um, but you know, don't don't say that a guy's on steroids just because he's he's doing things that others can't do. You know, we can't we can't say you know for sure. Even though you had guys like Paulie Malinaji, guys like that, that convinced that he was. You can't say, you know, you just cannot say because you can say this. What Manny Pacquiao is doing right now is incredible. He's fighting top level guys and beating them at the age of 40. He schooled Adrian Broner, but probably beat Adrian Broner every round virtually in that fight. And Broner's a young guy, you know, beat up Lucas Matisse, you know. So this is a guy that's uh, doing unbelievable things right now. So... I do think that I do think the Manny Pacquiao that w w that we had against Ricky Hatton, the one that we had against Cotto Margarito, we haven't got any more. We haven't got any more. But that's age. That's natural aging. As you get older, your body wears down. You, you you slow down. You're not as fast. You're not as as quick or as sharp or as powerful as what you used to be when you were more in your prime. Um, so. I don't, I don't think that um, Freddie Roach is ever going to get that killer instinct or that Manny Pacquiao that he fought against Ricky And It's just not, you know, he's aged. Um, the aging process won't allow that. Uh, but what you've got to do is got to, in my opinion, train smart. And Mayweather did this. Train smart and not over train in the gym, especially when you're at that age. You've got to train right and make sure that when you get in the ring that you have everything you have you you're able to perform to the highest level because you need to be at your best um and by overtraining at the age of 40 is not going to help you in any way you need a lot more rest um to recover um and you just need to make sure that when you get into that ring that you're at your peak you're at you're at your peak so you're able to perform you don't want to peak in the gym um uh, because you you don't want to you don't want to leave everything in the gym because you won't have anything for fight night uh, and and the stage that Pacquiao is in his career, he needs to make sure that he's on top on on point because he's he's naturally going to be slower in terms of, you know, he's not going to be what he was when he was in his prime. So he's got to make sure everything, training, diet, is everything's meticulous in order for him to, you know, be successful against these young guys. Because now, you would say yes, he beat Matisse, he beat Broner, but he's stepping up a level now. He's probably going into the elite level at the at the age he's at against Thurman. Um, you know, maybe the fact that Thurman's um, had his layoff and he's had come back from that serious injury that uh, Pacquiao could take advantage of that. Um, but I, I, like I said, I understand Freddie Roach probably feels a bit frustrated. Freddie Roach has said things about his politi politics and, you know, him wanting Manny Pacquiao focusing a lot on his politics. Of course, he's, we know he's a senator and that's not helped. Um, you know, you need tunnel vision as a boxer and unfortunately Pacquiao now... Um, has a lot of obligations, he has a lot of duties, he has a lot of other priorities uh, which probably are, are more important than boxing um, but it's incredible how he manages to balance both and still fight at a very high level while being a politician um, but I think Freddie Roach is probably just frustrated that he can't, he, he wants to see the old Manny Pacquiao he wants to see the Manny Pacquiao that was destroying guys and unfortunately, that Manny Pacquiao has gone and he'll never see that Manny Pacquiao again. He wants him to throw a lot more punches, but that could be dangerous because uh, the punches that get thrown back at him 
um, maybe may have a much more devastating effect at this age. So he's got to be he's got to be on point. Like I said, he's got to do everything smart in and out the ring in order to be successful against the elite level guys. But what do you guys think? Uh, Freddie Roach saying that he wants Manny Pacquiao's killer instinct back. Do you think he can come back, or do you think he's that's that time's passed? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.